I'm Chuck Salka. Here's the news. Los Angeles police have no clues to the sniper who murdered a foreign diplomat at the hotel where presidential candidate Senator Michael Bo Ashton and his running mate Senator Khan will appear at a rally this afternoon. This latest political assassination has tightened security for both Senators Ashton and Khan. I hate this. Why do I have to jog just because you're a health nut? Because it looks good for the dynamic duo to be seen a together. Dynamic duo. That's right. And besides, I get bored. These guys only answer to direct questions and then only give monosyllabic answers. Well, that's what you wanted. The people's choice. We're going to be the people's choice. Will you slow down, goddammit? I can't believe this. You're putting us on the hot seat. The world is upside down, and you want to get us on the hot seat. Don't, don't kid a kidder, Hercule. Hey, I'm warning you. You call me that name one more time, and I'm resigning. I'll resign from the vice presidency. Gotcha, didn't I, George? And besides, you can't resign. You haven't been elected yet. Oh, 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 oh. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It was our doing. S Senator Ashton? Yeah. Senator Khan? Sir, this is not protocol. Uh, well, Gotta go. Wait, wait, Gotta wait, go. wait. Don't forget to vote. Wait. What? Identify. Pigeon here. Are you clear? Yes. What's up, Pigeon? Must see you. <sighs> I love you too. Repeat. Must see you. Meet me at the nest. Do not transmit till then.
Frank Donaldson, have you tightened security for Senators Ashton and Khan because of last night's assassination? Catherine, I'm sorry, we're late. One question for the Senator. Senator Ashton, any further comments about your surprising rise in the poll? So Let go. the people speak. Thank you, Catherine. We'll see you at the rally. Gentlemen? Against the odds and baffling all the polls, it seems that Senator Ashton is no longer such a dark horse. This is Catherine Berry, Channel 3 News Today. Now back to you in the studio. to stop meeting like oh, this. Don't. Something's wrong. Very wrong. I, I don't know what. You see, I don't even know if I'm right. But there, there, there could be a glitch. A glitch? Rambling, dear heart. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I've, I've got to make sure first. This is so damn big, John, so damn big. You have a little bit if you want me to come back. Hold on. I hope I'm wrong. But if I'm not, I've taken steps. Can I get you? Um, I have a maker's name. You got it. Choice, Senator Michael Bo Ashton and his potential running mate, Senator George H. Kahn, reaffirmed their platform and reiterated their pledge to America. One nation, one dream. Hello? Jenny, are you watching the news? <laughs> yes, Dan. So, did you get the interview with Ashton? Oh, no, Stan. Jenny, honey, baby, Ashton is going to be the next president of the United States. We need this. I mean, you had him in your hot little hands, you let him go. Okay, Stan, enough. I'm seeing Frank in his office before the rally. Maybe he'll be able to arrange it for Maybe. us. Maybe. Jenny, there's going to be 500 people there all wanting a piece of this man. Frank is practically running his campaign. He's your friend. Come on, girl. Precisely, Stan. I asked him, and I'm not going any further. Bye. No. Not since those golden years in Camelot have the people dared to hope. But in Senator Michael Bo Ashton, the Kennedy charisma and legacy are once again renewed. But in sad contrast, today, on the anniversary of President Kennedy's death, the city and our nation mourn anew and ask anew why, how, who. I'm Jeffrey Lyons. Jenny, you're going to wear a hole in the floor. I need to see Frank. Good luck. Sure. sure. John? Jenny. What are you doing here? Well, I'm chasing you down. I can't make the rally. When I couldn't reach you, I just uh, followed your reporter's nose to the horse's mouth. I'd like to chat, guys, but today is not the uh, day. But Frank, I... <laughs>
more applause for the men we all came here to see. Senator Michael Bo Ashton and Senator George H. Kahn, the next president and vice president of the United States. And here he is, George H. Kahn. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I have to be completely honest with you. Senator Ashton chose me because he knows I tell it like it is. And I assure you, if my friend, my colleague, my leader, Senator Ashton, wasn't the man I believe him to be, I wouldn't be here today. But he is, and you have made the right choice, the people's choice. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the next president of the United States, Senator Michael Bo Ashton. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an arduous journey for us to get to this point. And I know all of this has been said before often by better speakers than myself. But I must tell you what Senator Kahn and I have been hearing all across this great land. The American people are mad as hell, and they're not going to take it anymore. Him. This is our concern, sir. Bullshit! I want this him! I want him concern. now! Sir, this is our concern. Look, you son of a bitch, you better have some kind of goddamn authority, because if you don't, I'm gonna have your ass in a goddamn stove. Let's go. Tell me you got that. I got it. I got it. This is Catherine Berry. News today. I'd rather be home with my family right now. And I sure as hell don't enjoy being used as target practice on a beautiful sunny day like this. So for better or for worse, Senator Kahn and I have heard the people's mandate, and we are here today to answer it. Yes, we are running, and yes, we will fight, and yes, we will win. The future will never come unless you and I stand up and make it happen. This time, with your help, changes will be made. Never could abide people who pass the buck, Captain. And this fiasco happened in your backyard. No, sir. 
I don't mind taking the heat when it belongs to me, but this baby ain't mine. This is a federal concern, and it was yanked out of my hands. Well, who's ever to blame will have to answer to me. And I'll expect double protection for Senators Ashton and Khan until they return to Washington. We'll do that, Mr. Donaldson. In the meantime, you just tell the other concerned parties to stay out of our way. And let us do it. Gentlemen. I don't believe you. Bullets are flying everywhere. For all we know, it's a terrorist attack. Or worse, the Republican Party. And you go waltzing up there like a knight on a white horse. And you expect me to follow you? You're out of your fucking mind, Bo. I promise you, if there's ever a next time, you and the American people are going to get an earful from me as I catch the next train out of town. Did you get that? George, relax. This was a fluke. There won't be a next time. We're here, aren't we? Nothing really happened. Nothing really happened. I'm just wearing my hair parted in the middle. That's all. All right, George, I got your point. However, this is part of the risk we take. Look at the rewards. Look at the good we can do. I'm in this for keeps, George. For the people of the United States. And for the world. Save it, Bo. Save it for the public. I'm going to take a bath, a very hot bath, and rethink this whole thing. I'll see you later. Yeah? No, I don't get it. And I'm not certain you do. Never mind that. Just do what I fucking tell you. Pigeon here. Are you clear? Finally. Why'd you take it off like that? Status report, please. Okay, okay. I bet you wait, but you owe me an explanation. Why arranged? Who is C? Any difficulties with why? No. Who is Z? Tiff, Miss Ogilvy? Don't mind us. We have lots of work to do. Delta. Danger. Mole on board.
Want to meet me later for lunch? We're supposed to help Maria with her installation today, you remember? <sighs> I forgot. I'm really in the doghouse now, aren't I? Look. I'll see you after my meeting, okay? Bochon! Bochoncito! Are you up to handling Maria's menagerie? <laughs> Cornflakes, fatty. Cochoncito! This what you're looking for? I don't believe it. I can't believe it. One minute, one minute, and he's out the door. Sin vergüenza, sin vergüenza. You scared me to death. Oh, he is just a gypsy, you know, but I love him anyway. What time do you want me to be at the warehouse? Don't remind me, I still have three million things to do, and I'm as nervous as a cat. Kitten. Kitten, Schmitten. I'm scared. Can you believe it? Me. Maria de la Luz shoots with my own show. <laughs> I know. I, know. <laughs> I was married to that red shoots for one month, and it's the only thing he ever gave me. So you think I'm going to give it up? No way. Besides, it confused the press. Bye. Bye. Uh, hey, wait. What time? She's in the uh, zush dungeon. Ah, yeah. Hey, we really miss you around here. Are you coming back to Mama's? Not a chance. And the baby chicks come home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I told you never to do that again. <clears throat> My watch does not say five o'clock. You still put the fear of God into him, don't you? Well, someone has to. This isn't such a smart move. Where's Pigeon? Where is Pigeon? It doesn't matter how much we pound it into your heads. Everyone wants to fly solo sometime. Can't you just do as you're told? Mama, I do as I'm told. As long as it makes sense, something is going down here. Mama. How many times have I told you? Knock before you barge in here. K-N-O-C-K, knock! Whoa. Who's that? Ah, never mind him. The overworked genius is a special ops pick him. I just train him. What do you want? I need to speak with Sir. Are you crazy? You know you have no business here. You have no business with Sir. We spend damn good money and too much time teaching you jokers to drill. 
and you just toss out your cover at a whim. It's so damn important, why don't you go through channels? You won't help me. Haven't you listened to me, boy? You have a job, I have a job, Pigeon has a job. Do yours. That's my advice. You mean you're actually going to pay attention to me? Don't I always? Yes? Frank, you're supposed to be my best friend, and I've been playing hide-and-seek with your office all day. I'm halfway through this article, and I still haven't met Ashton yet. I'm not avoiding you. I got my hands full, and you know it. Oh, just a minute, honey. What is it? Just got a call from Captain Brogan. That man, that, that shooter, he's dead. He hung himself. In jail? Oh, shit. Can't anybody do anything right? All right, give me Brogan. Okay. Jenny? Look, I know it's nuts over there, but you can't blame me for trying. Remember, you're the one who taught me everything I know. So? Do I or don't I get to meet the people's choice? Tonight, young lady, if you show me a little more respect, that is. I'll see what can be arranged. Bye. What do you want? A cup of sugar, actually. People do sometimes need a cup of sugar, but um, not me, okay? I'm invisible. You go back to work, and I'll just tippy toe out. Yes? Should I wear the red dress or the black? 
The black is maybe too conservative. No, but the red, that's too sexy. All those people looking at me. The whole world will be there. Jenny, I am petrified. They're not going to be looking at you. They're going to be looking at your work. That's even worse. Why did Frank invite all those vips? This is my first show. They're going to love your work. They're going to love your dress, your cleavage. <laughs> Definitely the red dress. It'll distract them. Are you sure? I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm positive. Now go, 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 go. Bye. Bye. Honey, I'm home. Delta. Cease and desist all activities. Trust no one but Sir. You are a target, John. You are Z. Delta, I came across these next names by chance. Are they friend or foe? If you can't reach Sir, you're on your own. Good luck, John. Catch you in the next one. Sweetie, we've got to get dressed. Ray's opening tonight? John, come on. Senator Ashton's fundraiser. Right, right. Eight o'clock, the warehouse. I'll be there. And just, just not at eight. John. Honey, the whole system's been hit. I, I gotta handle it. Well, you have another virus? Yeah, well, it's uh, more like an epidemic. Probably just the wizard playing Nintendo, mm -hmm. pulling my string. Yeah, well, I'm getting sick of these hackers. Hmm. Anyway, just get there as soon as you can, okay? No, no. Frank's counting on us. I know. Maria's sprouting feathers. Wouldn't want to miss that. No. Mm. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Everything looks great. Oh, I know, but I was so worried. And look at all of this, huh? Tonight's your night. But I don't agree, Jotri. Those values are as archaeologically defunct as the dinosaur. Coca-Cola has a much better way of selling its product than America has in selling its old-fashioned, not to say archaic, ideology. That may be, Mr. Kabir, but um, America, with its... Um, archaic ideology and its uh, Coca-Cola diplomacy is still the pause that refreshes us. Well said, young man. I'm afraid that's game, set, and match, Abdul. <laughs> Judge Regan. I should have worn the black one. The black what? The black dress. Ah, I see. Isn't he a little tall for you? The power of the pump. <laughs> well, are you going to ask her to dance or shall I? Want to dance? I'd love to.
haven't had a workout like that since, uh, since you know, last week. Are you holding out on me, Frank? Hey, you're talking to the Mambo King. Hmm, okay, Mambo King. How about once more with feeling? Mm. Seems I'm still without a partner. Well, I can stand it any time. <laughs> you know, they are late. They're absolutely late. And I can't find him. Do you know where he is? Senator Ashton's not late. And as for Michael Anthony, uh, the last time I saw him, he was with you. Well, I sent him out to get some drinks, and he just disappeared. Oh. And I must say, you're the most handsome man at this party. Oh, oh thank you. I have to go over there with you. Oh. It looks like your friend uh, needs some rescuing. <laughs> oh, I will rescue him. I will rescue her. I will. Maria. Sorry, it's just that most women who look like that make my teeth itch. How about a phone number? We uh, can go uh, out later. No, no, You'd uh, have a lot more fun with me. Oh, no, no, I uh, thank you. Oh. Maria. No. Yes. No. Yes. She was all over you. I was, I was, I was just bringing drinks back to the senator, and, and she was an octopus, and you did not mind. I, I, I didn't mind. I, I, I was trying to get back to you. I, I was. I had two drinks in my hands. I she don't was, believe you, Maria. You know what? What? I think the hook is in. Which hook? Seems like they're quite taken with each other. You guys just leave them be. I'm a little bit jealous. Good evening. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, could I have a word with you, Mr. Donaldson? Frank, is this about Ashton? Sir, my work has been compromised. My contact, uh, Pigeon, also Unit 5, she's missing. Her last message was a warning. I'm a target, sir. She left a list, a disc. I'm afraid there's a leak, sir. I cannot follow original plans. Negative. Proceed as ordered. The leak has been plugged. Your Pigeon is safe, but blown. Don't expect any further word from her. Do not attempt to reach me again. Well, it's pretty obvious to me that the shooter wasn't working alone. Isolate him. Give him an unofficial headache and find out what's what. It's a broken shell. That's the beauty of it. Can't. Hung himself. The only problem is, he did it after he was already dead. I knew it. This is a copycat scenario, isn't it? Somebody wanted to kill Senator Ashton on the anniversary of Kennedy's assassination. Hold on, Jenny. This is, this is just conjecture now. None of this gets out of this room. Not a word. Frank, the uh, senators are here. You men all set? Said as they're ever going to be with a rig like this. In other words, oh shit, yeah, we're ready. Well, let's get this show on the road. You can have anything you like. Ah. That bear is not for sale. No, I'm not buying it. I want it. You said anything I liked. I like that bear. I 
say? Can I shake his hand? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I said thank you. You're welcome. I could kill them for this. How could they? They just waltz in, drop this, this horror on her. Keep her for hours, no food, no rest. Monsters. That's what they are. They are monsters. Okay, be still, Maria. You're not helping her this way. The police had no choice. Bullshit. Bullshit. They're not human. Oh, Frank, thank God. Look at her. Tell her, Frank, tell her she's got to, to cry or scream or throw a chair. Anything is better than this. Jenny. Brogan said I could uh, identify him. You don't. Uh... You don't have to do this. I'll handle it, okay? I'm sorry, Jenny. This is going to be unpleasant for you. All right, we've seen him. For God's sake, cover him up, man. Well, it's just uh, one more thing. What? His hand. His right hand. What? His thumb's missing. No. 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 You don't live with a man for four years. Eat, drink, and sleep with him. And then just have him turn into an assassin. No. Nonetheless, Jenny, your fiancé was found with the gun that killed a well-known political figure. And? We needed any further proof. This mutilation business clinches it. Not for me, it doesn't. Oh, for God's sake, this is ludicrous. John worked for the government. Yeah, we're quite familiar with Mr. Mackey's alleged occupation. Exactly whose toes did he step on? And who the hell managed to get into your police morgue and cut off his thumb? You can answer those questions for me. Call me. Trouble. I suppose so. Right here in River City.
Jenny? Jenny? I can't feel good about leaving you here alone. Damn it, I'll just cancel my trip to Washington. No, I'll be fine. Maria will watch over me. <laughs> Are you sure you could take that much watching over? All right, you just hang in there, kid. We'll get through this. If you need me, call the office or leave me a message at home. Okay? what we want. Desk, you stupid bitch. Desk. Desk.
Can you tell us what happened, what they wanted? Well, I had a guess. I think it had a little something to do with John's death. Now, come on, we're talking about a burglary here, not some international plot. The two incidents aren't connected. What do you need? A Mack truck to hit you? Yeah, this is no joke, lady. Oh, I think Maria would agree with you. All right. All right. Jenny. I don't have anything else to say. Right. Right. I don't like coincidences either. So, Detective McGraw here will be keeping a watch on your home tonight. And you and I will talk again tomorrow. Okay? Uh, ma'am, I'll be right outside. Seven eight Z is permanently out of order. Satisfactory. And now to the manner of the girl. Have you the article? Complications. Need instructions. Terminate all further links. I'm assigned to you. Great. Why are you sneaking into my house? I wasn't sneaking in. I, <clears throat> I rang the doorbell several times. Sorry. I was in the shower. You want a cup of coffee? Yeah. That might be good. It's California nights. I know. Everybody thinks that there's sunshine at midnight. There you go. Thanks. Uh, can I take the cup with me? If you want, you can drink it here. Well, uh, I can't. I'm still working. You got my message, huh? I don't fucking believe this. What the hell is going on? Frank. Maria. Maria. That's it. I'm, I'm taking the first flight out tomorrow morning. I don't want you there alone. No, 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 no. Look, I know that your case is important to you, okay? I'm gonna be fine. Uh, besides, there's, there's a... Sweet watchdog right outside. Are you sure? Because I'll, I'll drop everything if you just say the word. Thanks, Frank. 
I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. <clears throat> I didn't mean to press you the other night, but we're coming up empty. Is there anything at all that you can add? I don't, I, I don't know anything more than what I told you, Captain. I mean, when and if there is, I'll let you know, okay? You do that. Hi, honey. I didn't expect you this morning. The cops were here all day yesterday and today. They woke me up at the crack of dawn to go over to your office. I, I, I hope that's okay. God, I, I, I'm flabbergasted. My God. You got something? You got something, haven't you, huh? What? What? What, what, what is it? Jenny, what is going on? Oh, for heaven's sakes, Jenny, look at those nails. Look at those names. Every last one of them dead, murdered, assassinated, accidental death. Jenny, Jenny, what is going on here? I'm gonna find out. Oh, Christ. Ashton's on that list. Are you saying that Ashton is gonna be assassinated? Oh, my God. 
Oh, God, this is big. This is big. Hello? Michael? I, I don't know what to say. Maria, I... I, I can't believe it. I, I can't take it in. Yeah, none of us can. Damn it, why? Why her? Why? 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 First John, now Maria. Boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is big. This is big, this is big. Big, big, big. Shh. What's going on? Wait, should we call someone? We should call the cops. We should call the FBI. We gotta call someone. No, forget it. We can't trust them. The police, do they know anything? <sighs> no, Michael. At least that's what they're saying. Look, I need to get a hold of Frank. It's gonna be tough. He's in meetings all day, and then he's catching the first flight he can grab this afternoon. But if he calls? Tell him to find me. Tell him to look everywhere, to not stop looking, even in my car. Is there anything I can do? Just get a hold of him. Bye. What is going on? Talk to me! Jenny, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? God, Jenny, talk to me! That was a tragedy. A terrible tragedy. Thank you for not coming to the same conclusions as the police. Well, I met John briefly in Vietnam, and of course, Frank vouches for him. No, the authorities were definitely off their mark in this case, but what can I do for you? Are any of those names familiar? Yes, of course. I see at least five or six I recognize. But how would you have me interpret it? All I know is that everyone on that list is dead. And you, Senator, are heading the second list. A cause for concern, indeed. I'm convinced that all of this is tied in somehow to John's death. A conspiracy, Miss Murphy. To what end? Money, power, information. Who knows? All I know is that John and Maria are dead. Your young artist friend. Yes. And all because of this list. Look, John worked, he worked with computers. He designed special systems that, to prevent hackers from breaking into national security installations. He saw something that he wasn't supposed to see. So he was killed. And uh, these two lists? John left a disc. A disc that they apparently want rather badly. And you have this disc? Why don't you turn it over to the police? I can't afford to trust them. Neither can you. This is a dangerous game you're playing, Jenny. A deadly game. Would you like me to lay on some special security for you? Frank will be home tonight. And I told my publisher Stan enough in case, well, in case anything happens to me. But you? Take care of yourself. I really do want to vote for you. And you will, Jenny. You can count on it. Yes. Listen, George. Bo, couldn't it wait? No, something's come up. Something we're gonna have to handle. Aren't you ever off the job? I mean, my shoes need resoling. Maybe I'm not cut out for this job. What is it? 
not on the phone. Please, no more of this cloak and dagger stuff. Is this the way it's going to be for the next four and a half years? If so, hi. Damn it, George, stop clowning. My car will pick you up in half an hour. Be there. I gotta get in there. I gotta get the disc. you stop worrying, you're gonna die young. No doubt, but not young. Well, you don't make it very easy for me, do you? Beautiful, Any? mysterious woman pursued by gunmen. Sounds like a spy story. That's exactly what it is. Only I prefer the rod. Jenny, there's no place to hide. Agent. For what country? For any country that pays me. Now, what is your country? I have no country. Born in the <laughs> What's my emergency? Tell him that Detective McGraw is dead. There are two dead bodies waiting for him at my house.
give you a dollar for a quarter. Do you have a quarter? Just take it. Just take it, okay? I'm in trouble. I'm being followed. I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying you, but I have the disc. You over there. Jim, get in the back. God damn it, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Check the truck. John and Jenny, we're out at the moment, but if you leave your name and number... Jenny, this is Stan. Where are you? I'm getting antsy. Call me. Hiya, kid. I hope you're okay. I'm stuck at the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. I had some kind of delay. Anyway, I won't get in until sometime late tonight, and I'll call you tomorrow. Get some rest, my dear. Bye. I got your messages. Don't say anything. Just get the hell out of there. Okay, okay. I've got to see you. Now. Tonight. Well, where are you? Remember when we danced to the Mambo? Meet me there. Yes, but... Never mind, Frank. 
Just get here, please. Jenny? Frank. Oh, thank God. It's true. John was involved with something. Something on this disc. It's like a death sentence to anybody who comes in contact with it. Ashton is on the list, along with half the world. Ashton. And you've entered the disc. Ah, uh, give me the disc, Jenny. I'll, I'll take care of it. Frank? Oh, you always were stubborn, even as a little girl. You, the headlights, they went off after you came in. You're not alone. Jenny, Jenny, it isn't what you think. <gasps> Whatever you do, don't shoot. She still has the disc. Get the disc! Make sure there's no way out. Doesn't have to be this way. It's over, Jenny. Get up. Easy, easy. Not you and me. Don't. You can quit, Frank. Please. I really wish I could, honey. I really wish I Don't. could. Don't! Ah! Holding on to this itty bitty hunk of metal. It can blow a hole in you the size of the Grand Canyon. You don't have a lot to say, do you? Go ahead. Fucking shoot me. Well, you can talk. Boy, I suppose everybody's in such a hurry to die. If it was up to me, I'd keep on talking and squawking and doing everything I could to buy a little more time. But I'm not. Why do you have to use such a weapon? What? And be bored to death? By amateurs? No, thank you. I can't have challenge. I'll have speed. Just do it. Ugh! <laughs> 
are no heroes in the trenches. I love Los Angeles after a rain. No clouds, no smog, just good, clean, sweet air. These days are few and far between, however. Uh, always the pragmatist, aren't you, George? Actually, there's a call for you in your office. Is it Frank? He was due here hours ago. No, it's broken. He sounds upset. Ah. Can you hold down the fort, George? Just keep the good stuff flowing, and you can stay away for a week. And you got it, George. <laughs> Ashton here. Senator, we've lost her. Well, that was careless of you. I want her safe. I realize that. But if she tries contacting you, you will let us know immediately. Naturally. In the meantime, I do have a house full of people. Just doing my job, sir. Good afternoon, Senator. What? Don't move. Uh... Yeah, my sentiments, exactly. I'm sorry, but I'm at a loss. I mean, why the uh, theatricality? Because there's a nice little theatrical maxim that says first you get their attention. And there's no doubt that I have yours, is there? Be sensible. Just put down the gun and tell me what's wrong. You're alive. That's what's wrong. This is ridiculous. I want answers. I don't even understand the questions. Well, I guess I'll have to live without the knowledge. I, 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 I... I... Bo, Bo, I... Hey, what? What are you going to do now? Kill me in front of Senator Khan? Why do you insist on attributing so villainous a role to me? I told you. You're alive. George, call security. I don't think that's going to be necessary. Are you crazy, man? She tried to kill me if her gun hadn't been empty. Mine isn't. Let her go now, Bo. Did he hurt you, dear? Oh, I'm sorry. But you have been a pain in the ass, Miss Barron. Now, if you don't mind, please give me the disc. Come on, give it to me. This is going to stop right now. Don't do that. Have you lost your fucking mind? I really wouldn't. You can't get away with this. Oh, no? Do you remember the names of the people on this disc? You do. All of them were upstanding, self-righteous, law-abiding citizens. All of them were a potential source of embarrassment to my administration, and all of them are now dead. Administration. Oh, just a technicality. Once we were in, you know, things happen. And under what heading do we come? Demented young woman kills the future president of the United States, and I reluctantly have to kill her. That makes me practically a shoo-in, wouldn't you say? It's not going to happen. Unfortunately, what you think doesn't matter. You're practically history. Oh, no, Senator. You are. Hold it. Easy. Easy. Come on. Senator Kahn, you're under arrest. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Fuck it, book him. Let's go. Any? You all right? You took your time getting here. Do you understand these rights? Good. Okay, Billy, cuff them. You have this damnable habit of being in the wrong place every time. Is he going to get away with it? Well, with the recording and the disc, I don't think so. And Ashton. Shh, get out. Damn it, what happened? 
Perfect. He said he had to get some papers out of the desk. Billy took his eyes off him for a minute, and he brought out a gun. And Billy? It's dead. Just you and me, Cat. Thank you. 